Now that we've opened all three 2023 UFC Select products, what's the best? Well, if money is no factor to you, then I'm going to recommend the Hobby Box. It's truly the best way to go and what it's going to get you the most hits and guaranteed autographs from. However, most of us are limited to a budget as sports cards tend to be more on the expensive side of things. So today, let's say your budget is $60 and UFC Select is your favorite set. What are you going to buy? Well, we're going to try to find out what's the best right now as we open two full 2023 UFC Select Blaster Boxes, one full 2023 UFC Select H2 Box, and three packs from this sealed 2023 UFC Select Hobby Box. Just to keep it fair, everything that we are going to be opening today is going to be around the same price compared to each other. 2023 UFC Select is kind of starting to disappear off of some of the bigger sites or what they do have left, they're kind of starting to raise the price up. But we'll talk more about that as we're starting to open stuff up. As always, thank you very much for taking the time out of your day today to stop right by here on the Golden Octagon, enjoy the rip, and let's find out what the best value of 2023 UFC Select is for $60. All right, so up first on today, we've got the 2023 UFC Select Blaster Boxes. This is truly what most people are probably going to gravitate to because this is what you can find in your local Walmarts, Targets, things like that. These are going to be about 30 bucks each, so we do have two of them here today. Looks like we've got a little dent there. Maybe we'll have some luck. Um, yeah, about 30 bucks each, and uh, I've only opened these one other time. Uh, feel free to pause and uh, go back, look over what you can get in here. But apparently you can get one of ones out of here. They are going to be like your mezzanines. Uh, maybe we'll get something else cool uh, out of here though. But truly, the way I look at blasters for the most part is um, a, you hit about the same amount that you would find money on the ground walking outside. So the majority of the days that you're outside walking, you're not going to find any money, any cash laying on the ground. Some days you might get lucky, you, you might find a dollar on the ground, you might even find a five on the ground, and you're like, hey, today's a good day. That's uh, kind of how I look at opening uh, blaster boxes for the most part, because the majority of the time, you're not going to get anything uh, anything cool at all out, uh, out of here. But uh, sometimes, just sometimes, you get, you get lucky and you get something cool out of here. So box is empty we do have our one two three four five six packs we do have two security tabs one of you guys made a comment that security tabs don't matter on my last video i i know i know i just like to think it means something but uh first pack of our 22 2023 ufc select blaster boxes um let's see what we get first card we've got a uh santiago pontanibio the argentine dagger if you will deuce the gana davison figueroa we've got roman delize one of my favorite fighters uh in the in, uh, in the middleweight division if you will and then verna janjiroba rookie card with the orange flash verna janjiroba nice not numbered orange flash not numbered this year hasn't been numbered last year and we are going to move along yeah, well possibly there we go Next pack, we're starting off with a Nigerian Nightmare, Kamar Usman. We've got Dustin, the Diamond Poirier, Irina Aldana, and then a silver, Joe Selecki, rookie card. Oh, looks like I'm out of sleeves. Let me open this up and grab some more. That's what I get for not being prepared. <laughs> All right, silver Joe Selecki, sleeved up. Next pack. Right. We are starting off with Brian Pooh Bear or the Butcher Battle. Um, we've got uh, Julian Arosa, another rookie card. Hey, no way do we get an autograph. Nasruddin Imovov. Autograph? Nice! Silver Flash for Nasruddin Imovov. Rookie auto at that. Nice, that's pretty cool. As I said, wasn't expecting it. Didn't expect to get anything cool out of here. And we get the rookie auto for Nasser Dean Imovol. Let me go ahead and get that top loaded up because that is pretty cool, in my opinion. I'm a fan of uh, Imovol. And we will move along. 
Oh, closing out, we got a uh, Ricky Simone. Uh, silver, yeah. It's going to be your silver. Wow, what's happening? There we go. And, uh, and that wasn't a bad pack. That's going to be probably our best pack uh, as far as the blasters of the day. But, uh, you know, we got that. We got a full H2 box and a few packs from a... Um, from a hobby box so you know hobby is what really gets the hits in it so we'll see we'll see we got holly the preacher's daughter home john castaneda with a mustache tim elliott and a orange flash for ian gary two orange flashes one box pretty cool and uh you know ian gary just had that uh fantastic win over neil magny just kicked his legs off next pack Possibly. We've got Corey, the Sandman, Sandhagen. We've got Pierre Rodriguez, rookie card. Connor, the notorious Connor McGregor. And a global icon, Silver Flash, for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Check just to make sure. Yeah, no number. And we'll move to our last pack of blasters, number one. So, uh, you know, not too bad, not too bad. Out of the last three that I ordered, uh, we did get one number card out of. I actually found these at my local Target, picked them up, and got an autograph out of one. So, can't be too upset at that. GM3, Gerald Marishar, Chris Gutierrez, uh, Nasruddin Imovov, right there. Once again, we just got his autograph. And Luana Pinheiro, rookie card. It's going to be your, uh, it's going to be your silver not the tri-color so we will uh, move on to a uh, blaster box number two and hopefully uh, it's as good as the first one hopefully we can get some some gold here on the golden octagon right y'all know I love that but uh, next blaster here get that out of the way this one is a little dented there in the front so hopefully our cards are okay inside and hopefully we got a good box well, one, two, three, four, five, and six packs. We do have our six packs. One security tab in that one, so, uh, you know, if it matters, I don't think it does, but one security tab. <laughs> All right, we've got the Black Beast, Derek Lewis, Damon, Action, Jackson, and Andre Petrovsky here, and a orange flash for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. You guys call me the Izzy Magnet, and that's why, right there. Every video, I get something, whether it's silver, orange flash, number card, I get an Izzy. Every, at least most videos, if you will. We got Alexander Volkov here. We got Alex the Great White Morono. Caitlin Chukagan. Uh, Caitlin Chukagan. I'm not doing that. These are cool this year, y'all. Dang. That might be a... Uh, is this is this a mezzanine silver mezzanine the silver mezzanines if they're a case hit this year y'all we just hit right now silver mezzanine for the eagle khabib Nurmagomedov. let me know down in the comments are the silver mezzanines case hits i know y'all like to argue um about that <laughs> whether stuffs are case hits or not but uh if it is what a hit i'll go ahead and get that uh Top loaded up, silver mezzanine for the Eagle. What a nice card, though. Probably going to go into my personal collection just because I like the way it looks. But we will move on and see what we get. We got uh, Abubakar, Nirmaga Medoff. We've got T-City, Brian Ortega. Um, Cheyenne Velismus. And a silver rookie for Poetan, Alex Pereira. That's probably one of... That might be the best Alex Pereira card I've gotten all year. I think I've just gotten base Alex Pereira cards for the most part. I haven't really gotten anything cool from them all, all year. But we've got three packs left in this blaster, so let's get cracking. All right. Starting off, we got the sniper, Sean Woodson. He's born ready, in case you didn't know. <laughs> we got Islam Makachev, uh, Rafael Fazeev. And a orange flash for Alexander Volkanovsky. At least we're getting some decent orange flashes, you know, aside from the Verna, you know. All right, all right. Let's see. We got uh, Nikita Krilov. 
We've got Khabib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov, Amanda Lamas just now got the break speed off of her. And uh, Nikita Krilov, Silver Flash, uh, Global Icons. It's a pretty cool card. I do like the Global Icons this year. And the last pack of Blaster, number two. Are we going to get anything cooler than what we've already got? Let's find out. Here we go. Um, we've got a Josie Ann Nunez rookie card. We've got Joanna Janjacek. We've got Miranda Fear the Maverick. You guys know I'm a Miranda Maverick fan, so that's a pretty cool card to get. And then lastly, Aaron Cold-Blooded Blanchfield Silver rookie card. Not numbered, but uh, it's pretty cool. So once again, those are blasters, thirty dollars each. Um, your base cards are going to have this uh, blue silver. I mean, this uh, red silver uh, blueprint on here. Whether it's the um, the concourse or the premier level, I actually think the octagon side too. But um, once again, these are going to be the mezzanine levels. Only come in your blasters, and we got lucky enough today to hit an autograph out of a blaster. So let's get into the H2. All right, so we're back here with probably going to be everyone's second option for the most part. This is your second cheapest option. This is your 2023 UFC Select H2. This is going to run you about $65 to $75. Most places are trying to raise it up to like the $75, $80. But if you Google, just Google 2023 UFC Select H2, you will find a few places still have it for around that $65 mark. I paid 60 bucks for this uh, when I ordered my last two that I opened last week, and we got some pretty cool hits out of them. So hopefully, this box right here also contains some pretty cool hits. If not, the last two were pretty good to me. But uh, the past two years of uh, Select H2 altogether, I would say that's what I wasted the most money on because uh, truly, all these are hit or miss. They're either good and you get something good out of it, or usually, um, in my case, uh, I get one or two number cards from it and nothing else but silvers, and uh, it just it just hurts my soul just a little bit. So once again, um, four packs in here. One, I don't want to bend the cards. Two, three, and four. Four packs in here. Six cards per pack. Uh, 65 to 75 bucks right now. This is going to be most everyone's second option uh, just because it's around 70 bucks and you get a full box. So, pack number one of 2023 UFC Select H2. Um, let's see what we can get. What's our best value? So far, uh, Blasters didn't treat us too terrible. We did get an autograph. So, let's see what we can get in here. We got Michelle Demolador Pereira. We got Brock Lesnar here. Uh, Max Payne Griffin. Song Yadong Premier Level. And Octagon Side for Jack Della Madalena. Great card. Um, and a silver for Mahashate. Mahashate keeps popping up for me this year, huh? So, uh, yeah, not even the disco. So, that's your regular silver from uh, H2. No discos. First pack. Kind of crazy because that's what h2 is is the discos looks like we might have a blue disco back there though uh but we got el kakui tony ferguson we got marina rodriguez we got javid basharat rookie card here pretty good uh andrea kgb lee and <laughs> another autograph y'all two autographs one video and it is one of the goats george rush saint pierre it is going to be a silver disco for George or uh, Shane Pierre. And then followed by a goat right behind him. Anderson, the Spider Silva in the blue disco. Going to be 27 of 49 on, uh, on the Anderson Silva, y'all. What a nice little pack there. Two hits and, uh, you know, we hit because you are not guaranteed an autograph in the H2. Uh, we actually didn't get any in our, last, uh, in our last H2 video. No autographs. We did get a green and a gold, so I can't complain too much um, about the hits. But, uh, wow, autograph out of H2. Don't happen too often, at least uh, when I open H2 for the most part. But I'm just glad that it is George St. Pierre. Nice. We got two packs left, y'all, and uh, see what we can get. All right, starting off strong. All right, we've got uh, Stipe Miocic. Max Blessed Holloway fights this weekend against Korean Zombie or tomorrow if you're watching this on release that we got a scratch Derek Brunson there we got Patty the Batty Pimblet um Alexander Volkov Silver Disco that's not black is it 
No, no way. That's gonna be black. I, <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. Select tricks me. We got a baddies Martin Budai here. Red disco. Uh, that's going to be out of 99. 17 of 99 on the Martin Budai. Uh, Volkov is not numbered. I really thought it was going to be black, y'all. I thought we were going to have a one of one. I got all excited, and then um, I let myself down <laughs> because I saw the red. But it's all right. Um, so we've got one more pack of 2023 UFC Select H2, and uh, let's see what we can get, y'all. Can't complain. Uh, you know, this was a good three boxes that I ordered, a green out of five, a gold out of ten, and a GSP out of, you know, no complaints from me. But starting off with a notorious Conor McGregor, uh, we've got Gerald Mearshart, GM3, if you will, Chris Gutierrez, uh, Josh Emmett. Uh, Jack Tank Shore, and lastly, a, is that Red Disco? Oh, Maroon, is this Maroon Disco? What? This looks like a different color. Maybe it's the premier level, but out of 99, Red Disco for um, Marvin Vittori. The Italian dream, if you will. Uh, odd looking card. Yeah, because just look at the two red differences. Like, one's really, really red, and the other one's like... I don't know. It's faded. But hey, what can you do? Panini Quality Control at its absolute finest. Let's get our tank shore sleeved up. And uh, yeah, y'all, that was 2023 UFC Select H2. As you see, the Disco Parallels um, in here compared to the Flash Parallels from the the hobby we have got an autograph in both let's see if we can keep this rolling we only have three packs of 2023 ufc select hobby so let's get into it all right and lastly we've got the big boy here the 2023 ufc select hobby box if you buy this full thing it's going to run you uh, about 350 dollars but once again if you google 2023 ufc select packs you will be able to find um, certain places on Google that'll pop up that sell uh, individual packs, and they're going to run you uh, about 20, 25 bucks, something like that. But I think the one that uh, I found, I actually checked last night, they were $22 each. So round up just a little bit. We're going to open three packs from uh, 2023 UFC Select. I'm going to reach in here and I'm going to grab three random ones. One, two, and let's go number two right here. Our three random packs. And if you guys want to see what happens to the rest of these 2023 UFC Select Hobby Packs, make sure you stay tuned right here on the Golden Octagon. And uh, I'll be opening them in an upcoming video soon. So don't worry. They'll get ripped here on the channel. So we got three packs here. I don't think any of them feel thick for the most part. But I just reached my hand in there and grabbed the one. So probably no memorabilia and no auto mem. But let's see if we can continue the uh, autograph train and get uh, three autographs out of three different UFC uh, select uh, products. This thing's sticking to my hand. Uh, so first pack of 2023 UFC select hobby. Looks like we're going to have a teal blue back there. But hey, we got Corey the Sandman Sandhagen. We got Pierre Rodriguez. Pat Sabatini, going to be a rookie. And then a silver snapshot for Jan Blahovich, followed by a rookie for Action Man, Chris Curtis. Uh, gonna be 103 of 249 on the Till Action Man, Chris Curtis. We'll move on to pack number two. And uh, this one might feel just a little, little bit more. Uh, a little bit more filled out than the last one. We might have an autograph in here or maybe something cool. Who knows? We got Vulcan. No time. Who's the mirror? We got Johnny Bones, the greatest of all time. John Jones. Ty Bam Bam Tuivasa. And new Magnum Zhang Whaley. Just now beat the brakes out of Amanda Lamos last weekend. And a tricolor for none other than Patty the Batty Pimplet. No number on a tricolor this year. Or at least uh, in the hobby. <laughs> uh... Yeah, so um, last pack of 2023 UFC Select Hobby. Let's see if we can get that auto in here. If not, you know, it will it goes to show. You can't always get lucky, and sometimes you get more lucky than what you expected because truly, I didn't expect an auto out of the Blaster or the H2. And it, if we were going to get an auto, I expected it to come from the Hobby. But 
Looks like, you know, prove me wrong. But hey, you never know what happens when you open up cards. That's why it's so fun. It's a truly an enjoyment. But you got to watch out because you could easily waste your money and get absolutely nothing. Singles are definitely the way to go if you're trying to build your collection. Stipe Miocic. Um, let's get rid of our Zhang Wei Li. Put that up there. We got Max Blessed Holloway. Maybe he'll, he'll bless this pack. We got Tito Ortiz. Oh, I'm not good. We got a snapshot for cold-blooded Aaron Blanchfield and ending it out with another tricolor rookie for Luana Pinheiro. Whoa. So uh, out of our hobby, hobby was definitely the worst out of the three today. But remember, we got the rest of that box to go and truly there will be two autographs and one memorabilia in that full box. We just didn't get lucky enough to get it today. Man, why'd Hobby have to do this like that? Usually it's the best today. Clearly not, but we only opened three packs. Um, the Blasters and the H2 today treated us really, really well. We got an autograph out of both. Nasser Dean Imavov, rookie card auto from the Blasters. And we got a legend, maybe one of your goats, maybe your goat in GSP, an autograph of GSP in the H2. No autographs in the hobby today, but once again, we only opened three packs, so we've got the rest of the box to go. We'll still get two autographs out of there and one patch out of there, so I'm looking forward to that. Stay tuned if you want to see what comes out of the rest of that box. But as always, I truly appreciate each and every single one of you for stopping by here on the Golden Octagon. Hit that thumbs up button on your way out if you haven't already, and if you're new here to the channel, subscribe. I'm here every single week ripping UFC cards along with a lot of other UFC content strictly UFC content. That's what I do over here. But that's going to be all for me. My name is Matt. This is the Golden Octagon, and I'll catch y'all next week. Peace.